Hey guys, Mike here for a new tutorial. So today I will show you how to animate numbers with motion page. So first things we need is to add a number, obviously. So I use a breakdance builder, but uh, you can use any page builder. It doesn't matter. So as long as you add a number and a class, and the class I use is number. So we can't make any mistake, it's pretty easy. So I have a number here in a heading. It can be in a text element or whatever. And now we go directly to page, motion page. So what I use, what I need to do, sorry, is to add my class. And then we are going to animate this field from zero to the number we entered. So we directly go to the custom property here. We open there and under text zero. Let's save that. Why? And if it doesn't work, I don't know why. It doesn't matter because actually we need to test it in the front end. I found out that if I use two and let's uh, remove that one here or I copy delete and I go there and I enter here like 1000 save maybe we load the page okay here it works but we don't want to use two so let's clear it to be sure we need to use from save maybe reload the page try again no it doesn't work i don't know why exactly but as long as it works is on front end it's fine so we have our animation pretty simple the only thing is we want to remove the decimal because it doesn't look great to have uh, all these numbers there. So there are several methods. First, we can use the method snap. In the text one. And let's check how it works. Fine. Snap means that, oh, I press the wrong button. Right, okay. Why is it is there? Okay. Snap mean it will increment every one step. For example, if I put 10, you will see how it works. So if I put two, okay, so let's put one, it works fine. Like, make it a bit uh, slower and uh, forgot to save here okay i just want to make it a bit more smooth at the end so let's change the thing here to expo and then it should look pretty good now let's say we want to animate several numbers Add some spacing here, and that one I want uh, 75. Okay, let's save the page here. We reload it, and we are going to use scroll trigger. We have to select this uh, option, trigger each iteration individually. All right, and that's all. We can save the page. Maybe let's uh, change here the toggle action so it will work with certain scroll back. All right, okay, save. Let's go to the top of the page and let's check carefully. Okay, it start. All right, so there is another method. It depends of uh, what you want to do. Let's say you want to have a... Uh, okay, this is my tutorial I made for um, for uh, GZAP with uh, Oxygen. And it's exactly this method here. 
we are using the same, the same method, except that I use text content instead of inner text, which is basically the same things. And I use the modifier here. So why using the modifier? Let's check that here. Go back to our custom code. And let's show you what it is. Right. So all this code here. Let's copy there and put back. Ah, oh, for fuck's sake, this is my mobile phone will ring. Okay, on pause. I don't know if you hear, but my mobile is just ring. And I won't answer because it's an unknown number. All right, doesn't matter. Okay, let's check. Okay, so we have the same result here. The difference is to fix it. We can have, we can add some decimal on control, as you can see the decimal. If, for example, I want to have, I don't know, 99.55 and here I want uh, 55.99, let's save that. Right, if I just want to we can save like this and change to fix with one here. Right. If I want to get rid of the zero and only keep the decimal where there is a number, so what we need to add is a pure JavaScript. So I won't explain in details, but at least I give you the, the method. So is a pass float and Oh, it's so small here that I hope I don't miss it. Right. It should be fine now. Okay. Well, it depends of what you want to do. What kind of number. Let's make it even smaller here. Slower. I should uh, align to the, to the right so it doesn't move too much. But anyway, you, you understand how it works. And it's pretty easy. Just a couple of line custom uh, code here. And we don't have to change anything else. We, oh, we can have some fun here. For example, we can start to zero. And uh, while it's moving, let's put back zero here. I don't like to have uh, all the decimals there. So it make a fade effect. I think that will come back, but uh, we can even uh, make it uh, for the pearl. A bit weird, but uh, it still works. All right, so that's it. It's how to animate numbers with motion page. So, see you next time.